Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also share, like, and comment. Pick two members. The Honorable Member for Shiwangandu. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for allowing me to uh, make a brief, uh, brief comments on this motion moved by Honorable Vice President. Madam Speaker, as much as it is a procedural motion. We may not have problem with standing orders 25 and 27, but we have got a challenge with standing orders 115. This is standing orders which prohibits this August House from considering a bill um, all to go through all the stages in the same city. Madam Speaker, this session we have is called legislation session. It's dedicated to legislation as the many business, as the core business. And therefore, the executive should have made, it, should have made arrangements to ensure that all the bills that were to be tabled during this, this session were brought in time. How much time are the honorable members going to have to propose amendments to the bills which will come for the second reading, third reading, and committee stage. At what point, Madam Speaker? This is defeating the role of this institution, Madam Speaker, whose mandate it is to legislate and to formulate laws for the people of Zambia. So it is an indictment, Madam Speaker, on the lead of government business that we here must be given ample time to scrutinize the bills in order to make laws that will be uh, interpreted properly by the judiciary. Many times we have been called here that we don't read, that we don't pay attention to, uh, to bills when they come here and we end up passing bills that are in conflict with each other. Bills that are also contravening the constitution. So we need ample time to ensure that the laws that we pass in this August House are laws that do not conflict each other and are laws that are not conflicting the constitution which is the supreme document of the land. And um, I am able to see the learned state council sitting next to the head of government business. Please do your work. That status you have attained is to give proper counsel to the state. The it's not just mere member, titles. Order, member for so it is for imprudent. Please, let's not debate ourselves. It's better even to mention the ministry rather than the, the person and pointing a finger at him. Let's try to avoid debating ourselves. Madam we Speaker, it was one way of congratulating, congratulating the, the, the learned council, congratulating him and making him appreciate that uh, that status comes with a lot of national responsibilities. That's what I was trying to emphasize, not that I was uh, meant to debate it, but to congratulate him and uh, make it uh, known to, to him that carries his was. Madam Speaker, as we adjourn, it's also prudent that the lead of government business harmonizes certain pronouncements that have come from the, from the executive. Not too long ago, the head of state declared drought as a disaster. And on top of the list of our measures that the government is going to take was to ensure that food, uh, this country is food secure by importing extra grain. We saw the Honorable Minister responsible for information and media, who is also government spokesperson, also going around with cameras to show the country that this country is food secure. So who is telling what? <laughs> These are matters that we would want before the House is adjourned, the read of government business clarifies because in some areas like the 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 the, the Ruanovare, yeah, 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 yeah. southern province which is hit by drought, people are struggling with food and they are crying for relief food. So if we are having these conflicting statements, what message are we sending to our people who are supposed to be given hope that they are not going to die of hunger? We would also want to see the lead of government business assure people 
that just as last week you, she was very happy, she came here, that the Nanmuangonomics are now working. <laughs> the kwacha, are, which are artificially appreciated against convertible currencies, was even trading around 22 kwacha. Today, as we speak, Madam Speaker, by close of business yesterday, a, doll, a kwacha was trading against the dollar, which is commonly used, around close to 27 kwacha. So, when these things are happening and the nanomagonomics, which we thought now is, happen, is effective, we need clarity so that the business sector, which is negatively affected, can be given hope. And our people who are going to the shops and buying things at higher prices, which never reduced when the dollar when the quarter appreciated a little bit, are also given hope. So as we adjourn, Madam Speaker, these are the matters that we'd want to go and explain to our people adequately. Your Honor, the Vice President, the cost of living for our people is now beyond uh, most of your citizens. Fuel costs up. This is a short of adjournment, Madam Speaker, so we want to get information from our Honor, the Vice President. So that as we go to meet our people, we are able to explain to them that the Narumangonomics is only working in this sector, where uh, uh, it's, uh, she has tabulated, reduced in order to increase. So these are issues we need to go and explain in simpler terms to our members of citizens. But more important, Madam Speaker, as I conclude, I want to urge Minister of Justice, please ensure that the bills are expeditiously processed, especially this session. We, can, we don't mind any other sitting, but this session was dedicated for the purpose of legislating, formulating laws, as it were. Why should we start rushing into bills when we are going to adjourn? That's not fair to our people who have sent us here to represent them. And that's our core mandate, making laws. We can only make laws that are meeting aspirations of our people if we are given adequate time to scrutinize them and propose amendments where there is need, because that's our work. So we don't want to see this to continue, Madam Speaker. We are reluctantly going to accept. In fact, we have got a question on this standing order 115. The other two, we don't mind, because those are procedural and straightforward. But 115, especially this session, is not acceptable, Madam Speaker. I submit. Thank you. Madam Speaker, before I ask my substantive question to her honor, the Vice President, through you, I would just want to caution about tampering with wetlands. Tampering with wetlands without taking into consideration the Ramza Convention dictates my worsen, my worsen the situation which we may want to be, to be addressing. So I just want to take caution, coming from the Conservation Caucus, that the Ramza Convention are very explicit on tampering with wetlands. Madam Speaker, I've come with a lot of reference materials today because there's a tendency of saying, can you lay it on the table? Do you have proof? And I'm now moving with a bag full of materials, books, and all sorts of stuff. So that whoever requests for that information, I'll be laying down on the table. Uh, Madam, the honorable member for Kawamwa, please ask your question. Her Thanks. honor is waiting to respond. Thank you very Just much. Just ask your question. Your honor, the vice president. Why? When is this government going to come to terms with the reality on the ground? When is this government going to come to terms with the reality on the ground? I speak because if you go through publications, if you go through social media, if you go listen to radio stations, people are saying the same things. But according to what we have here, it looks like uh, the executive have are living in a different country and not the real Zambia where we are. 
Dr. Kobla, a Swiss psychiatrist, and I quote her. She says, when people are dying, in, the, in her book, Death and Dying, there are certain stages which people go through, which are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. When are you going to accept that things are not the way it used to be? When are people going to come to terms that the mirage, the dream, the 50 watcher minimum that you believe? Can you wind believed? up your question you are debating now? Madam Speaker, I have... Um, what is the question, Honorable Member? I have this particular publication where the main question is coming from. Where the honor, honor the vice president member, said. Please stop the watch. I think when we are asking questions to our honor the vice president, it's not necessary to come with all those materials. The question should be straightforward. I'm sure you've already prepared your question in your mind. So please just ask our honor the vice president what the question is. You don't have to debate. It's not time to debate. It's time to ask our owner, the vice president, questions. If you don't have a question, honorable member, say so, so that we give the last member. What is your question? When is the UPND government going to terms with the reality that the mirage which they chased and asked a lot of people to follow is it still a mirage, and they should come to terms with the reality on the ground that that 2026 UPND Kuya Bevele, they are packing their bags. Zambians are fed up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Cool, and turn on the notification bell, cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.